Remains of five Panhandle veterans are in San Antonio tonight. This after nearly a year of research in identifying the forgotten heroes. These veterans have been left unclaimed in Potter, Randall and surrounding counties, but now the Missing in America Project and Patriot Guard writers are honoring them and laying them to rest. ABC 7's Case Wilbanks reports. For a final time, these five Texas veterans are on a journey home, and that journey started with a question. Can we go and, uh, and look through the records? And as a result, we found, we found these veterans. A collaboration between A to D Mortuary, Potter, Randall, and surrounding counties put these unclaimed veterans of Vietnam and Korea on a Missing in America Project mission. It means a great deal to me. Uh, and uh, to see our community come together like this, People from all over the state have come to, to honor these veterans. Some of those people are the Texas Patriot Guard riders who volunteer to transport the remains to Fort Sam Houston National Cemetery in San Antonio. Air Force veteran Hank Bettis says it's a heartwarming experience. It's near and dear to me that these gentlemen that, and women that are serving and, and give the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, you know, it's the least we can do to bring them home. At the guard stop in Lubbock, area veterans also joined in to say one last thank you to their comrades. They were lonely for a long time, but now they had it home. Now, whether it's here at this gas station in Sweetwater or anywhere along the route, the Patriot Guard says the show of support along the way is breathtaking. It really rings true to the fact that we as Americans really stand for our military and enjoy the freedoms and thank them for the freedoms that they have given their life to preserve. Even buses of children honoring those who fought for them before they were even born. It just proves patriotism in this country is not dead by a long shot. I'm sorry. Also emotional for Dana Hasselgrove as he's charged with transporting one of the veterans. Take your feather, a fellow brother that served with me in Vietnam to his final rest. It's just, uh, it's an honor beyond belief. And with a handoff ceremony in Sweetwater, these veterans continue their way until the mission is complete. These soldiers deserve back from them the proper treatment, the care, the medical care, uh, you know, the proper rendering of honors for them when they, when they are now being laid to rest. Case Wilbanks, ABC 7 News. Streets of the Panhandle are receiving the final respects they deserve. Thanks for joining us tonight. Those veterans were homeless when they died. Unfortunately, no one came to claim their remains. That's where the Missing in America project comes in. They track down homeless veterans who have died so they can be given the final respect they deserve. Those men, um, these men are among them, rather. Four remains were found in Potter County. Seaman Apprentice Jerry Harris of the U.S. Navy, Air Army Specialist Laird Orton, Jr., Senior Airman Michael Papinchok of the Air Force, they all died in 2015. Sergeant Michael Topp, also of the Air Force, was cremated last year. KAMR Local 4's Kelly James reports that story. Topping our news tonight at 10. Members of the military give a final roll call for four deceased veterans who until now had been sitting in urns in the basement of the Potter County Courts building. We've been keeping records for years on the people that we cremated, so they started looking through them and did research and found out that they were veterans. County governments are in charge of the bodies of the deceased if they are not claimed by family members. That's where the Missing in America project got involved. A local mortuary owner heard about the project and decided to find out if there were any missing veterans in our area. I called the Missing in America Project, asked what we could do for these veterans, that uh, if we possibly can do the research on them. Joel Carver has a son in the Marines, and much of his family has served as well. So making sure these veterans are given a proper farewell was very important for him. But it was a long process. I got permission by Judge Tanner to, uh, to go through the records and to send them to, back to the uh, Veterans Administration and to, to do their research to find if they were honorable veterans and served our country that way, and uh, many came back. It took almost a year, but they did find the cremains of six veterans, two of whom were claimed by family members, leaving four to be interred in San Antonio. People attending Thursday's ceremony say it's important to care for our veterans, dead or alive. Today is a very special day for veterans. There's four veterans here today that were being recognized in, uh, for service here that will carry on over to San Antonio where they will be interned.
There will be quite a deal for this as well. The veterans remains again escorted to San Antonio. They'll be interred at the Sam Houston National Cemetery, but they're going to be making a few stops along the way with some hefty guards. Members of the Patriot Guard Riders will be leading the motorcade with stops and ceremonies in Lubbock, Sweetwater, Bernie, and finally the interment in San Antonio on Friday morning. The motorcade leaves the A to D Mortuary Company 6 o'clock Thursday morning. They are at 8th and South Johnson in Amarillo. Live in studio, Kelly James, KAMR Local 4 News. Kelly, thank you. To date, the Missing in America project has identified nearly 3,400 cremains of veterans. Almost all of them have been interred at national cemeteries. Ah! One Army veteran, one Navy veteran, and three Air Force veterans, all left unclaimed by loved ones in Amarillo. We started out with 92 names of the homeless and indigent cremains that were in the vaults and that were stored in the county courthouses. And uh, so I knew that there were possibly a few veterans among those. After discovering several were veterans, the Missing in America project worked to find a way to make sure they were properly buried. Had no idea that we were going to get this kind of outpouring of support and, uh, and love and appreciation of our veterans, uh, even those that we don't even know. The remains of all five were brought to San Antonio from Amarillo yesterday, escorted by the Texas Patriot Guard. And again today, the Veterans Organization took them on their final ride to Fort Sam Houston National Cemetery. We get to give them a proper burial with a name. You know, I'm sure we, there is no face to it, but there is a name and, and, and they'll live forever in our hearts. Prison! The late servicemen served in the Cold War, Korean War, and Vietnam War periods. Bob Johnson, who also served in Vietnam, says it's sad to know they never received a proper welcome home. He feels honored to see them get that final respect today. Knowing that uh, I'm giving them something that they probably never had, that's why whenever I see a Vietnam veteran, I always say, welcome home because uh, they didn't hear that very much. The Missing in America project has buried more than 3,000 remains of U.S. military veterans. It's proud project giving our heroes a final goodbye. Amanda Weber, News 4, San Antonio.